embraces discipline as the backbone of our success. The school motto is discipline, knowledge, and wisdom. Enroll your child. conference that is coming from the conference of bishops on the occasion of their plenary and uh, uh, we may not go into the introductions but we'll do that uh, you know there will be questions and then we'll have those introductions uh, but here we have our uh, uh, the chairman of the conference and uh, his team releasing the the, the press statement, and I think after that, we shall allow <coughs> about two uh, questions on the press statement. On the press statement, uh, it's important that we restrict ourselves first of all to the subject matter, uh, apart from other areas that are of concern. So uh, I'd like to welcome now the chairman of the conference, uh, Most Reverend. Uh, Martin Nivuva Msonde, who will lead us in this press statement. Welcome, members of the media. So, <clears throat> dear Kenyans and members of the press, and uh, all people of goodwill, as a conference of Catholic bishops, we want to start with a short prayer led by none other but the local ordinary Archbishop. Uh, Philip Agnolo, kindly, Your Grace, lead us into prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God, our Father, we pray that you descend your Holy Spirit upon, upon us and our country, that we who are of citizens of this country will learn to live with one another, which will, will learn to accommodate one another, and we continue to open ourselves to you, our Lord, to change our hearts towards one another. We pray that you may grant us knowledge, you may grant us wisdom, and you may grant us peace in which we can work towards you as we learn to live together as brothers and sisters. We ask you, Almighty God, that you may give us courage of heart, strength of body, and willingness of our spirit to serve you with a lot of gladness matters government matters spiritual and all matters development unite us with the cause that cannot be broken even as we undergo many challenges that are caused by political misunderstandings god we pray that you would send your holy spirit upon us that will be our counsel and will guide us into successful nation, the nation you yourself have created as a model for your own goodness and kindness and mercy. For this we pray to the Lord, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So thank you, Your Grace. We want to place this country into prayer at the same time we want to communicate some of the reflections of our being together in this place for the last one week. Um, we are guided, of course, every year we come back at least twice a year to reflect matters, faith, matters, uh, our country. So today we are telling Kenyans, or we are stating, take heart, have overcome, have overcome the world. And this is a John from John 16:33. We are telling also ourselves to be strong and let our hearts take courage. All you who wait for the Lord. This is taken from Psalms 31 verses 24. So we the Catholic bishops of Kenya meeting at Russell House, Donum Day in Karen, Nairobi, for our ordinary plenary assembly, 
convey our Easter greetings to all Kenyans in the name of our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Peace be with you. During our week-long meeting, we have undertaken stock to reflect on deeply on the worrying state of our nation, particularly on the political and economic situation prevailing in our country in the post 2022 general elections period. We therefore wish to state the following. Number one, embrace dialogue and uphold peace. Dear Kenyans, after we all held as the most peaceful elections in the history of our country, and following the calm that we experienced before, during and after elections, six months down the line, we expected the government to be uh, on course in fulfilling the promises of its manifesto. This requires a, conduct, a conducive environment. Unfortunately, the political anxiety and the destructive demonstrations that we recently experienced do not portend well for the peace and prosperity of our nations. As Kenyans, we all breathe a sigh of relief when His Excellency the President William Ruto and the former Prime Minister, Right Honorable Raila Odinga, agreed to embrace dialogue through a parliamentary bipartisan process. We saw this as a true mark of leadership and patriotism shown by the leaders who love this country, patriots who feel for the suffering Kenyans stricken by pro pro poverty, drought, and who are sick of endless political bickering. We applaud and appreciate the goodwill demonstrated by these two leaders. However, we are very much disturbed now by the apparent standoff which could easily lead to hardened positions and delay the uh, urgently needed process of dialogue. Learning from what is happening in the neighbors' countries, and especially the terrible destructive um, ongoing war in Sudan, we must raise an alarm that what happens when antagoni uh, antagonism hardens their hearts and allow pride and stubbornness to close any avenue of peace that comes about through constructive dialogue and the spirit of true patriotism. We therefore wish to encourage all parties and citizens at large to refrain from destructive demonstrations and instead commit themselves to the path of dialogue as the only way of resolving political and social issues affecting our country in order to reconcile an, an, an inclusive nation. We know, therefore, that in particular, a number of political econom economic issues ailing this country emanate from unresolved historical injustices and mismanagement of public resources which require adequate time to resolve and find lasting solutions. To resolve these issues, Kenyans require a peaceful environment, free of confrontations and street demonstrations. Indeed, from our past experience, we are all aware political demonstrations have always led to loss of lives and many people maimed or wounded led to destruction of property and loss of livelihoods. We therefore urge all our leaders
to use a non-violent means in resolving these conflicts. We in particular appeal to them to embrace our national values enshrined in our constitution instead of allowing themselves to be driven by personal and selfish political interests. We ask them to reevaluate their value system guided by their conscience, endeavor to do what is right for all Kenyans. Number two, respect for the rule of law. We wish to note that the Supreme Court of Kenya gave its judgment in regard to the winner of the recent presidential elections. That decision has to be upheld, otherwise we run the risk of becoming a lawless society. As a constitutional democracy, we have to respect court decisions, and where one disagrees, he or she should seek a non-violent legal review of the judgment. This is the only way we can preserve the integrity and unity of our beloved country. Number three high cost of living. Dear Kenyans, we all feel the pain we are going through due to the high cost of living. We call on the government to speed up measures to address the high cost of living and ensure that the tax regime does not hurt the common Mwananchi who is already suffering from excessive taxation. We appeal to the government to give tax relief on basic items as a way of cushioning the poor. Number four, a sound and legal approach to the ruling on LGBTQ, a call for amendment of the Constitution. Dear Kenyans, as you are all aware, we challenged the ruling of the Supreme Court of Kenya on the 24th of February, 2023, allowing lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, and queer, that is LGBTQ people, the right to form and register associations in Kenya to push for their interests. This ruling was based on an erroneous interpretation of the clauses on the freedom of association that is Article 36, 1, but affects the sacred values of marriage and family as enshrined in our Constitution. We therefore call for a constitutional amendment to strengthen our cultural and religious values on marriage and family, which are to be protected by the supreme law of the land. that most of the struggling, most of us are struggling with many challenges, but we must not lose hope. As a nation, we have come from far to be where we are. So let us celebrate whatever little steps we have made together. Let us together celebrate the fruits of our labor 
and rejoice in the good tidings that have been gifted to us by our Lord. Despite the challenges as we are experiencing, let us learn from him who died for our sins and rose to give us a new life. May the joy of the resurrection, of his resurrection, lift us up to a new hope to strengthen us to embrace a new dawn for our beloved nation. Please be encouraged by the words of God in Isaiah 43 verse 2 when he says, and I quote, When you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you over. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. God bless Kenya. God bless every and every one of you watching and being part of us. We want to say, as Kenyans always say, Amani kwetu sote. Peace to be to all of us. So this document has been signed by the bishops of Kenya. Um, let me open them, this. Uh, sorry. Uh, the bishops present, myself, Archbishop Martin Kivuva Musonde, the Archbishop of Mombasa and the Chair of the Conference, Most Maurice uh, Mohatia Makumba, the Vice Chair, uh, Most Reverend Bishop Agnolo, the Archbishop of Nairobi, Right Reverend Moses Marura, Bishop of Kisi, Right Reverend Alfred Rotich, uh, the Bishop of Kericho, Right Reverend Norman Kingo, the Bishop of Machakos, Right Reverend Bishop Kihara, the Bishop Masabit, Right Reverend Bishop Kamau, Apostolic Administrator of Bishop of uh, Nakuru, uh, Right Reverend Anthony Ireri Mukobo, the Bishop of Isiolo, Right Reverend Bishop uh, Mugambi, the Bishop of uh, Meru, Right Reverend James Maria Wainaina, the Bishop of Muranga, Right Reverend Bishop Paul Kariuki, the Bishop of Embu. Right Reverend Bishop Dominic Kimengich, the Bishop of Eldoret. Right Reverend Bishop uh, Joseph uh, Mbatia, the Bishop Nyahururu. Right Reverend Bishop Obala Owa, Bishop of Ngong. Right Reverend Bishop Joseph Mongela, the Bishop of Kitui. Right Reverend Bishop Michael Odiwa, the Bishop of Mahoma Bay. Right Reverend Bishop Wilbert Lago, the Bishop of uh, Malindi. At, uh, right Reverend Bishop Mark Kadima, Bishop of Bungoma. Right Reverend Bishop George Mudaka, Bishop Garissa. Right Reverend Bishop John Binda, Bishop of Lodwa. Right Reverend Eronimus Musungut Njoya, Bishop Mararal, Right Reverend Bishop Henry Juma, Odonyo, Bishop of Kitale. Last but not least, Monsignor Benjamin Maswili, the Apostolic Administrator of the Military Ordinariate. Thus ends our statement for today. And we want to thank you for coming, we want to thank you for watching, and we want to remind ourselves this country is all ours together. Thank you, and God bless you all again. As you've heard of the press statement, we will allow not more than three questions, and uh, say your name, and uh, your media house, and then make a precise question so that... Uh,
Let me pick up from, first of all, the, the question, not, not the Swahili part, but I can answer in Swahili so that it is also inclusive. Um, swali ni kwamba maaskofu wana usikaje. Uh, swali na maaskofu kuhusika kwamba kumbukeni tulijaribu kuwafikia vinara wote wawili, same zote mbili. Na tukiwa na wenzetu pia wa madhehebu na dini zinginezo, interfaith, interreligious, so kuhusika kwetu kupo na tangu jadi tangu wa Kenya waanze e, kutafuta uhuru kamili kutafuta uongozi unaofaa kupigana na ufisadi tunahusika kwa sababu sote ni wa Kenya kwanza yanaotumiza mkenya wa kawaida na tumiza sisi sote so tunahusika kwa sababu ndiposa tukawafikia vinara rais wetu na kinara uh, mwenyeki, uh, mwenyekiti wa, wa, wa opposition uh, right honorable kwa hivyo tunahusika na jambo ambao tuliomba mwanzoni na tunasema asante kwamba limekuwa kwamba mwishoni waliona umuhimu wa mazungumzo kujadiliana kuona tufanyeje so that is one way of kuhusika jambo la pili tunahusika kwa sababu hata wakati wa kupiga kura tulihusika ku kuhimiza watu wapige kura tunahusika na Kenya nchi yetu so that is we have never stepped aside we are always with the Kenyans where we are uh, majuzi mlituliza hapa mkiitwa mtaenda tulienda <laughs> tulipokuwa na nafasi so eh, na ni, kwa nini tunahusika kwa sababu eh, ni wazi kwamba eh, Kenya ni yetu sote na tangu eh, kupigia debe siasa za amani upigaji kura wa amani tuko pamoja na jambo hilo so kama kuna swali la tatu baadaye nitaweza kusoma kwa kwenda kwa kifupi kwa Kiswahili nitaweza so maybe i go now to the following in Swahili kwamba uh, dada ameuliza kwamba tuwafahamishe wa Kenya tunaongea juu ya nini kwa lugha yetu ya Kiswahili nitajaribu Kwanza tunashukuru nafasi tulionayo kuwa na mkutano huu hapa sehemu ya Karen mahala panapoitwa Russell House Donum Day nyumba ya watawa wetu. Tukiwepo hapa tumekuwa tunatafakari kuhusu mambo mengi ya, ya kiimani na ya kimaendeleo na hasa kuhusu yanayojiri uh, ya nchi yetu na hasa tunayokumbana nayo changamoto ulizo nazo na jinsi ni muhimu kukazia uh, umoja wetu na ushirikiano wetu katika mambo muhimu tukiangalia nyuma kidogo tunaona tulifurahia kwamba kura zilipigwa kwa hali ya amani na wengi walisema ah ni Mungu tu kumbe haya ya kudumu muda mrefu punde tu baada ya miezi sita tumeona yaliyotokea tumeona uh, kumeanza kuwa na tetezi na msukumano wa opposition na serikali na tukawaomba tafadhalini hii siendelee malaika ita, itakosa na kosa nafasi ya serikali kujikusanya na kuanza kuhudumia watu wao kama walivyoahidi katika manifesto yao kumbe basi baada ya huo msukumano kidogo na kuwaendea wote wawili vikundi vyote viwili tunashukuru tuliona walikubali wakasema rais akasema basi tuko tayari tuunde makundi ya la kuzungumza jambo hili kwa hivyo hilo limeanza kutokea japo kuna msukumano bado si rahisi tunaomba kabasi katika nyakati hizi tulizo nazo tusipoteze tusipoteze muda tuchukue nafasi ya kukimbia mbio kujaribu kuunda kundi hilo na liweze kuhusisha maswala msingi pia yanahusu nchi yetu na hasa ili kubwa la uongozi bora kujali maslahi ya shida za watu na zaidi kutambua kwamba kuna changamoto kubwa sana katika nyanja ya uh, kipato uchumi yani na nyanja kubwa zaidi hali ya maisha ya mwananchi wa kawaida katika hapo pia tumeingia kitengo cha kueleza kwamba ni muhimu kila mkenya anajua kwamba tuweze kuwa watu wanaimiza eh, 
kutafuta amani kwa njia ambazo si za dhuluma au kukazia misimamo migumu ambayo italeta kuumiza wananchi wa kawaida kawaida jambo la pili tuliongelea leo ni kuhusu eh, eh, uchaguzi kama ulivyokuwa tuwe watu wanaoshika sheria tulisema kama mambo yamefika kotini tuwape nafasi watu watafakari na mapendekezo yatakayokuja yaingizwe katika sehemu inaonekana inafaa la sivyo tikiacha kutu watu waende olela olela tutajikuta kama si nchi mbali tuna mifano mizuri katika nchi za karibu ambapo ukikazia kwa njia nzito na ulete katika hali ambapo pia kunaweza kuwa na watu kukosana katika kisiasa inaweza kuleta shida yaliyo ya kubwa sana tumeteke tumeongelea kuhusu jambo la constitution democracy ambayo ni lazima iwe ni nia yetu kama wa Kenya kwamba tufanye mambo si kwa uh, lazima au nguvu tukiingilia jambo la tena uh, kwamba maisha ya mwananchi wa kawaida yamekumbwa na changamoto kwa sababu juzi tu tulikuwa tutategemea chakula cha kulima lakini mvua haikunya kwa karibu miongo miongo miaka minne hivi na watu wengi wakawa na shida ya njaa tena wameumia na wanaendelea kuumia manake chakula tangu mjikunyeshe si kitambo sana tunahitaji mwananchi sasa kawaida kukazia ukulima na njia za kujitegemeza kwa wepesi sana tunaomba, tunaomba pia serikali angalie jambo la kutoza ushuru kuna otoza ushuru vifaa ambavyo vinaumiza mwananchi wa kawaida chakula na si kingi na tunashukuru nafasi walizochukua hata labda kuagiza chakula na kupata chakula ambacho kinaweza kushusha bei ya vyakula hasa unga na vyakula vingine so la jambo la nne tumezungumzia kuhusu ili jambo la LGBTQ+ kwamba japo koti iliamua njia fulani tunasema hiyo njia pia inafungua uwezekano wa kwamba makundi kama haya yanaokuja na mifumo ambayo si haikubaliki kijadi na hasa kwa jamii nzima na kwa wakenya wengi jambo hili linataja kutahitaji kurudiwa tena kuangaliwa kwa ndani ili kwamba tusiwe tunalegeza ule umuhimu tuliweka kwenye katiba yetu kuhusu umuhimu wa familia familia kulingana na katiba yetu ilisemekana au eh, family ilisemekana ni familia ya mume na mke uhusiano wa mume na mke hizi haya mahusiano mengine yanaleta kuvunja au kulegeza kukazia kwa katiba yetu umuhimu wa familia na hata pia mila za jadi na mila za watu wengi kwa ujumla na pia kwa watu wa dini mbalimbali mbali. la mwisho kabisa eh, tungependa kuongelea kuhusu eh, kwamba tunajua mambo ni mengi mwananchi wa kawaida unaumia tunaumia sote tumependa kusemea tujaribu kwa njia zozote kukazia na nasema kukazia na kuchukua njia zinazoweza kutuletea afueni tuvune kwenye ma, tunda, matunda ya amani tuliyopiga kura nayo na tukaanza kazi almost immediately mara moja tukazie eh, umuhimu wa watu kila mahala kujifunga kidete ili kwamba waweze kutafuta mbinu pia za kujitegemeza katika biashara kubwa na ndogo ndogo Mwishoni kabisa tunawatia shime na kuwatia moyo kupitia maneno ya eh, nabii Isaya. Nabii Isaya akiandika katika sura ya 43 mstari wa pele wa pili alisema japo mtapita katika eh, mawimbi makali nitakuwa nanyi. Japo mtaingia katika mito inaoenda kasi nitaandamana nanyi nitatembea nanyi katika hali ngumu ambapo kama ni moto kutachomwa mungu hata kuacha uumie 
na himizo la kwamba sote tutambue kwamba Mungu anaandamana nasi na mwisho kabisa tuwapenda tushukuru wa Kenya wote na kuwaambia amani kuwaombea kwamba tushikane na tuanze kuona kwamba tuwape nafasi hawa vinara wawili na kupitia njia zinazopendekezwa mbalimbali na makundi mbalimbali yanayohusika tuweze kuleta hali ya mazungumzo yanayoleta afueni katika maisha ya kawaida na pia hasa kupoteza kutopoteza muda nafasi tuliopewa katika serikali mpya otherwise tutajikuta tunaanza sasa kampeni za 2027 na, na kadhalika tuchukue nafasi ya kuona kwamba tunasukumwa na mfumo wa amani tulionayo kuleta afueni nchi Kenya asanteni na Mungu awabariki thank you so we want to say we end there we want to thank you the media for coming and also for listening to us a message of the bishops Catholic bishops of Kenya to the nation and uh, for the good work that you are doing uh, wish you the best and uh, keep it up and uh, at this point you will get uh, copies of the statement uh, from uh, Sister uh, Adelaide. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Santeni. Isiolo, Isiolo ni mji, Isiolo ni county, na Isiolo ni jimbo katoliki. Katika lugha ya uchungaji wa kanisa katoliki, eneo la Isiolo lilikuwa sehemu ya jimbo katoliki la Meru hadi lilipomegwa na kuwekwa kivyake. Tarehe 15 Disemba mwaka wa 1995, sehemu hii ya Isiolo ilikatwa kutoka jimbo la Meru na ikatangazwa kama vikarieti ya kichungaji Isiolo. Marehemu Askofu Luigi Lukati aliteuliwa na Baba Mtakatifu Yohane Paulo wa pili kuwa msimamizi wa kitume wa eneo hilo. Vikarieti ni nini? Vikarieti ni sehemu ama wilaya ya kimisionari katika kanisa katoliki ambayo iko chini ya usimamizi wa Baba Mtakatifu kupitia kwa askofu aitwaye mjumbe wa kitume ama vika apostolic. Tarehe 25 Januari mwaka huu, Baba Mtakatifu Francisco aliikweza vikarieti ya kitume ya Isiolo na kuitangaza kama jimbo kamili. Sambamba na kitendo hicho, Baba Mtakatifu alimteua Mwashamu Anthony Ireri Mukofu kuwa askofu wa kwanza wa jimbo katoliki la Isiolo. Kapuchin TV, tutakupeleka hadi Isiolo kushuhudia adhimisho la kihistoria katika kanisa letu la kusimikwa kwa askofu wa kwanza wa jimbo katoliki la Isiolo, Mwashamu Anthony Ireri Mukofu pamoja na kukwezwa rasmi kwa jimbo katoliki la Isiolo. 
Mwadhimishaji na msimikaji mkuu atakuwa mwakilishi wa baba mtakatifu hapa nchini, askofu mkuu Bart van Megen. Ijumaa tarehe na moja, saa kumi na moja jioni, Vaspa ama sale ya jioni. Jumamosi tarehe na mbili, saa nne asubuhi, ibada ya kusimikwa na kukwizwa kwenye katedrali ya mtakatifu Yusebio Isiolo mjini. Nayo Jumapili ya tatu ya Pasaka tarehe tatu, Misa ya Shukrani ya Skofu Anthony Ireri. Haya yote yatakufikia hapa Kapuchin TV na kwenye mitandao yetu ya kijamii Kapuchin TV. Inampongeza Askofu Anthony Ireri, mapadri, watawa na waumini wote wa Jimbo Teule la Isiulo katika sherehe za tukio hili. Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Sisi pia ni mashahidi wa habari hii njema. Passionate about social entrepreneurship? Do you believe in social entrepreneurship? This is a space to be. Join the conversation, join others, network, co create to advance social entrepreneurship in Africa. It is also an opportunity to connect with potential funders and also for funders to find the most innovative solutions that they can uh, support, that they can put their resources into. At Tangaza University College, our mission is really to prepare the agents for social transformation people who engage in solving the most pressing challenges of the societies. We really want students who come out of here to be innovators in the society. And we have been uh, training social entrepreneurs since 2010. And we saw the amazing work that the social entrepreneurs that we have trained are doing. Then we believe strongly that social entrepreneurship is the future of this continent, is the future of Africa. That is what inspires us to start the annual conference on social entrepreneurship. Ashoka is an organization that has supported the field of social entrepreneurship for the last 40 years, with our primary focus being finding and supporting leading social entrepreneurs to scale their innovations. We are really glad to be partnering with Tangaza University in the sixth edition of the annual Africa Conference on Social Entrepreneurship. The annual African Conference on Social Entrepreneurship is a space to help the players to engage, to engage in discussions that pertains to what is happening in the ecosystem in Africa, to learn from each other. So it's a space for learning, to combine theory and practice, to tell their story, the story of the changes that they are creating, to co-create and to innovate. Out of the conversation that players have, we are able to innovate, to find new ideas. The ACOSE, which is the annual Africa Conference on Social Entrepreneurship, is a platform that is pan-African and entirely uh, an opportunity for us to learn and share, collaborate, co-create, and come together as a continent and also beyond in terms of uh, finding uh, solutions for the next challenges and also showcasing the solutions that are currently uh, being implemented. We believe that the sixth annual conference is going to be an exciting and amazing forum for learning, for story sharing, showcasing, movement building, co-creating for social entrepreneurship in Africa. We want to invite you 
to this unique conference on social entrepreneurship on the 10th and 11th of May 2023. We are proud of Akose and we want to invite everyone to come to Akose's sixth edition. There's a lot of information about the annual Africa Conference on Social Entrepreneurship on the website. Just search for Akose on your website and you'll find all the details and also registration. Register and join and be part of this growing Pan-African network of leading social entrepreneurs working within this nexus of academia and practice. Nahi Kapuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Kapuchin TV kuna mambo mazuri sana kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame Kapuchin TV jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya manake ndio TV ya kipekee ya Catholic na mabishop wanaisupport kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi. Kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support. Wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili. Kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatend father kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number Five one zero six seven eight account name Caps TV. Heri na baraka za pasaka kwako mpenda mtazamaji wa Runinga Captain Jumapili tarehe 30 mwezi Aprili mwaka huu kwa mali kwa baba paroko Padre Fostili Tanda Runinga Captain tutaungana na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi Enola Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru Itakuwa ni adhimisho la miaka arobaini tangu paroke hiyo kuanzishwa rasmi mwaka elfu moja kenda mia temanini na tatu. Ibada ya misa takatifu itaanza saini ya asubuhi ikiongozwa na mwashamu David Kamao askofu msimamizi wa kitume wa Jimbo la Nakuru. Sherehe hiyo itafanyika kwenye uwanja wa parokia hiyo. Kumbuka haya yote yatakufikia kokote utakapo kuwa kupitia Runinga Captain pamoja na mtandao wetu wa kijamii. Runinga Captain inawapongeza baba paroko pamoja na umini wa parokia mtakatifu Yosefu mfanyikazi Enola Lamudak Jimbo la Nakuru kwa mafanikio hayo. Endelea kutazama Runinga Captain kitambulisho chako katoliki. This is who we are. We are shepherds of God's flock. We are pastors, servants of God's people. We are KCCB. Yes, 
somo katika kitabu cha kumbukumbu la Torati. We are fishers of men, priests in the order of Melchizedek. Somo katika injili livyo andikwa na Marko. Waeni mle wote, huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu. Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. We are brothers and sisters of Jesus Christ. We are consecrated. We are religious men and women. CMA, we are men of action, we are commission. We are CWA, we are women of faith, we are soprano and alto, we are tenor and bass, we are voices of praise and worship. On that great, great morning when the sun was all away, on that resurrection morning, Jesus rose to life the day. We are youth for Christ. House 47, Ascent Monica's product. We are YCA. We are MYM. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. We are PMC. We are liturgical dancers and altar servants. We are baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are confirmed. We are married. We are marriage encounter. We are couples for Christ. We are ordained. We are one faith, one hope, one baptism. We are one holy, catholic, apostolic. We are the Catholic Church. This is who we are. Malkia wa mbingu, furahi, aleluya. Kwa hivyo, nyesha, hivyo, kumchukua, aleluya. Hamefufuka.